a lot of young men out there take things, they get to a certain point and they can't take it back, you know. And remember, after you done shot somebody and taken their life, you can't take that back. No. But up to that point, you can take anything back. You can change your life. And, and believe me, any of them brothers sitting in themselves right now that done did those murders, committed those crimes, I bet you they're regretting it right now. Because right. they're in there eating stale bread, peanut butter, boiled eggs, and wondering about what's, what their woman is doing out here. Mm -hmm. And see, the problem is, Brother Moore, many people are not taught how to properly disagree. True. And because they're not properly taught how to disagree, they disagree according to the street's way right. of disagreeing. The streets say, if I got a problem with this brother or this brother stepped on my feet, I'm going to shoot his. Yeah. But one of the, the main purposes of this Stop Tripping Manual, it teaches you how to deal with stress. Many of us never knew how. True. You know, and, and stress basically is all how you perceive it to be. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's one of the things that the book taught me. I was one that... I had a habit, Mr. Andre, of uh, making things worse before it even got to me. <laughs> right. You know, mm -hmm. Blow it up. You know yeah. prime example, uh, you know, get a bad grade and you know you got to go home. The first day you got a thousand thoughts running through your yeah. head, I'm going to get a whooping and this going to happen before you even got home. And a lot of us, we do that to ourselves. Yes. You know, instead of uh, sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen, mm -hmm. we negatively think ourselves into what's going to happen and three areas that stop tripping does it talks about self-esteem goal setting and decision making a lot of us because we have poor self-esteem and some of that self-esteem stimulates from fear many people and I could speak this with with great assurance because I was in the streets I was that game banger. I was that person that mm -hmm. didn't mind shooting somebody if I mm -hmm. felt they did something wrong mm -hmm. to me. And that all stimulated from fear. I had a fear of succeeding because I never knew I could succeed. Mm -hmm. and, and many of my brothers that's out there lost self-handicapping right now have right. that same fear. They have nothing to look right. forward to. Right. Their eyes are not open to something mm -hmm. better, so they think, this is all I got. Right. This is all I am. I live in this jungle, so I'm going to live according to the jungle rules way of living. Mm -hmm. And I just want to speak life to anybody out there to let you know, you don't have to live that way. Right. There's no. more to I, life. I've been there and done that, and I'm still here today alive to tell it. I'm, I'm sad for those that's not alive to tell it, but for those that's still alive, if you can pick up a gun, if you got enough sense to put a bullet in the clip and put the clip in the gun and cock that hammer, then you got enough sense to pick up a school book. Yeah. You got enough sense to try to go back to school. You got enough sense to take the assessment test and get an ICC. Yeah. And, and I just want to just say far as goal setting, I was one that never really knew about setting goals. Yes. Uh, I never really was a planner. I was a spur of the moment, mm -hmm. go, go with the flow of things mm -hmm. person. But if you don't plan, yes. then you're planning to fail. That's yeah. true. You have to have something to look forward to. You have to have some type of goal to reach. And yeah. far as decision making, a lot of us, as my brother stated, have made such poor decisions we see it every time we turn on the news. We see it every time we open a paper. Stimulating from people that's making poor decisions. Right. And, poor and I, choices. And I'm grateful for the Stop Tripping Manual that helped me stop making those decisions. Yeah. Because life is not based on what somebody do to you. That's yeah. true. But it's based on how you respond. Absolutely. And, and I, I'm thankful that the book helped me stop being a, a reactor, right. mm -hmm. but a thinker. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because we have to realize as men, yes, we're accountable for our own deeds and actions, but what we do don't just affect us. Right. And, 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 if, and if my brother's out there that's, that's still lost and tripping, understood that, brothers, y'all affecting somebody else. Yes. You know, it, it's easy to destroy a life, but it's better to help build one. Yes. And, and if I can do it, I want anybody out there that's listening to me today to know that you can do it. Right. You know, I was out there just like you. you. Can do it. I was one that thought that going to jail would have been cool. I was one that thought that getting shot was cool. And I'm here to say I've been through all that and it wasn't cool to get locked up. Mm. It ain't cool getting shot at. It's not cool sleeping around with different women. But it is cool to help speak life into somebody else and help harvest somebody else's yeah. dreams.